Hello, today we're going to talk about maxillary anterior phrenectomy. You can see the big frenum right here, and the feeling was that this would affect the comfort of the maxillary denture. I've just placed small diameter implants in bone grafted, but you can see how far the denture would have to be cut back, and this would be a real rubbing area. So I'm first placing two curved hemostats. One hemostat is curved and is placed on the apical part of the frenum, the part toward the nose. The other hemostat is placed like this, adjacent to the alveolar process or adjacent to the tissue, so they look like this. This is clamping the bottom part of the frenum, and this is clamping the top part, and they meet at the tips. And then I'm going to cut here and just let my blade slide along the hemostat, and then I'm going to cut here with the 15 blade until it meets the cut where the two hemostats connect and then this piece right here, the frenum, is going to come out of the mouth with the hemostats and there's going to be a big hole in the tissue right there. This is my 15 blade and real quick, you just cut right along touching the hemostats and they'll meet right here and this piece will just come straight out. Very important that you use curved hemostats when you perform a phrenectomy. If you just cut it freehand, it's going to open up like you cut a hole in a blown up balloon, you're going to go, whoa, where am I? You can get lost. So if you place the two hemostats and then cut around them, touching the hemostat with the Bard Parker blade, it'll be a perfect phrenectomy and you won't get lost. This is easy to suture in the non-keratinized unattached gingiva. You can't pull the flap together in the keratinized attached area because it's too dense, but you can approximate the flap in the non-keratinized gingiva. This 4-0 gut suture is going to dissolve in three to seven days, and that's just perfect for this. This is immediately after implant placement, teeth extraction, and phrenectomy. This is after two weeks of healing. Isn't it amazing how fast the oral cavity heals? And that's the dental.